Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Trap jumping, got it, keep the trap jumping, got it, keep the trap jumping, got it, keep the pack moving, keep the money coming, now to keep them hoes on it, better go get you some money, cause you ain't seen nothing, yeah, we got the cool blues, but we still got green hands. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of get too far ahead of you. Know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Yeah. Are you ready to get started, Tea Sipper Big Dripper? Tea Sipper Big Dripper. Salute to my daughter, Sammy. I appreciate it. Don't, don't, you wearing your bracelet? I am wearing don't my bracelet. You to tell. I am. I am. Okay. Sammy Strands coming soon. She got some bracelets for you. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. For the tea, shout out to my man Franklin in the field for the uh, rice game cup. Uh huh, uh huh, uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that shout out to my daughter Sammy. She's uh, about to be 13, going on 35. Um, salute to everybody out there with kids, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's very important that we uh, teach our children about business, about how the world works, and teach them how to be their own bosses, you know what I mean? Don't work for nobody. I don't want to work for none of you niggas. I know my feelings and my vibe. I got a couple things to talk to y'all about today. Uh, Easy to Block Captain versus Disaster was announced on Battle of the Base. Shout out to Grind Time. I'll talk about that. Uh, I'll talk about uh, a lot of different reactions to a lot of different things. You know, the Green Ranger people still talking about him, or uh, whatever the case may be down there, bags and bodies. Um, I heard Swamp speaking quickly in the spaces yesterday about Snake Eyes getting beat up again. I, I'm one of them niggas. That nigga be talking shit about me. Snake Eyes, I heard you got beat up again, my boy. You a damn liar. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. Hey, got beat up again, my boy. You said that nigga be talking shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got beat up again, my boy. You like the damn beat up mascot for being hey, body, boy. No, nah, that ain't happening, man. Yes, sir. Nigga Swamp said, yes, sir. I know. Terrible. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. All that one-sided shit is getting him fucked up out here. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm going to stand on the, the, the side you can't see me. You can call it blind side all you want. A <laughs> uh, uh, win is a win, motherfucker. <laughs> bro, <laughs> ain't no fucking rules in fighting. I'm knocking it. <laughs> what, niggas got to fight? Niggas got to fight into the bags and body shit again? Yeah. Yeah, sure. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. And the thing is, like, he blocked. First of all, Snake Eyes blocked me yesterday. I don't even, I don't even follow this nigga on Twitter. He blocked me yesterday because I said something about him getting beat up. But you be talking about me. You talk about other people. Why I hate that when it comes to these artists, bro. They be so my gun, my this, the, 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 the. I'm so street. I'm so hard. But then once you get a beat, this down right here, man. And hey, you know what I mean. Don't yeah, even worry about them niggas. When yeah, niggas call business. you back, you know, get them niggas the cold shoulder, uh -huh. Do the Mayweather on them. Yeah. <laughs> the Mayweather. Um, Once they get beat up, it don't be the same. And I heard him and Tony Bro broke up, and they said it was because Tony Bro was talking to Stumbles in a spaces? And that was just out of a sense of humor because he moving around from crew to crew. But now look, you got your manager jump, you got jump, your belt took. Everything you was representing is 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 at stake right now. You know what I'm saying? I could be a corny nigga to be like, yeah, welcome to TGF, Friday's Outback. This nigga done got, <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna do that. You know what? what? <laughs> at least y'all ain't got a gas that nigga. <laughs> In the spaces. Y'all, cause I seen, somebody sent me a screenshot, right? I don't care, I don't care. Somebody sent me a screenshot this morning. You can't stand next to niggas who I who try to jump us and yada yada, bro. Yo. Please get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Get in Ibu. Tony Bro ain't on that type of time. He don't give a fuck. He's trying to do his battle rap thing. Niggas is really trying to tell people they can't interview people or can't be around me. Oh yeah, trying to be cool with niggas that jumped us will never be respected. Shout out to OTFMC. <laughs> it's not his fault. It's not his fault. He actually tried to help you. He tried to help you when the niggas was 
busting your ass and taking that belt from you. Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? It was on tape anyway. So yeah, we niggas busting your ass taking that belt from you. Don't get mad at me, you gonna block me for what? I wasn't following you anyway. I don't be following you. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, man. You better get that nigga's belt down there. Maybe get them shoes beat off of him. They took the belt and I already got beat up again. It's the truth, nigga. Like, why you mad at me for saying the truth? Oh, you mad because I'm laughing at it. <laughs> oh, you mad, nigga? Well, I'm glad, nigga. You need some self-defense classes. Learn how to fight. Uh, they always be talking about fighting, fighting, fighting. You was in the joint yesterday. I heard you arguing with Stumbles. Talking about when you see me, put your hands up. You don't want to do it. <laughs> when you see me, put your hands up. It's see me do what, nigga? T-Rex, nigga. It's see me do what? Oh shit, shout out to Snake Eyes, man. I heard you got T-Top next, too. I can't wait to see that one. <laughs> you should have seen how they had you. <laughs> can't wait. And I don't care, because Snake Eyes be talking shit about me, so I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. Put your hands up. Learn some defense. I heard you still in that house, too. <laughs> Get that nigga some security. Security! Can't see, nigga. Hit me from the blind side. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Whatever, man. <sighs> Easy the Black Cabinet versus Disaster has been announced. Uh, we all know Easy fresh out the news. Uh, it's like everything is fight, fight, fight in battle rap now. Fight, 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 fight. Everybody wants to fight. I don't want to fight nobody. <laughs> I just want to keep doing my thing because it is what it is. But uh, God did not announce on Battle of the Bay uh, going down August 12th and 13th in Oakland. Shout out to GTX. Shout out to Delmar Crew. Shout out to Lush One. Shout out to everybody over there on Grind Time X, they putting together a pretty good card. I've seen a lot of dope battles on here. Uh, Big K versus T-Rex, Thesaurus versus Hollow the Don. You got DNA and Charlie Clips versus uh, Satire and Dumbfounded. A lot of people that's been around for a while. I don't really got notes on it, but I just know that there's been some battles on the card. I heard about Diz versus Easy the Black Captain probably a week or two ago. I didn't know if it was gonna still go down with everything that was being said and everything that was going on in the industry and whoop de whoop boo Y'all niggas know how the game go. But it is going down. I have been hearing rumors and I've been hearing word that it's only one round. Jack Boy Main, who has been going back and forth with uh, Easy the Block Captain on Twitter, came out yesterday and said we hype over one rounders now. And then, you know what I'm saying? Um, People started getting at him. I'm not hyped over any Jack Brown. It's one round to be better than what you got. Woody, 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 woody. And I seen um, Jack Boy and I've heard him going off in a lot of spaces because he was talking about Piranha, you know, with the whole running situation. And I hear, I hear Piranha, what he's saying, but I also seen the footage. So when I seen the footage, what you saying versus what I seen versus what you be saying about other people, that shit don't all add up. And you know, you was. He was back, back, backpedaling. He was backpedaling. Green Ranger causing hell in there. And Green Ranger was the one that said he choked you up. <laughs> Green Ranger causing hell in that house. And then Parada jumped on the phone. <laughs> Who you calling? Don't call nobody. Because if the Green Ranger causing all that hell, imagine what he going to do if he called the Red Ranger, the Black Ranger, the Yellow Ranger. <laughs> It's morphin' time. Niggas gonna call Zoran and shut that whole fucking house down, man. You niggas wanted the attention. You got it. So, uh, Disaster's been putting together this beat, the Battle of the Bay card. You know, if you know anything about the Grind Time era, the Grind Time era was one of the more important time frames in battle rap. There was a lot of good battles that happened over there. Most notably, you know what I'm saying, the Awkwards and Conceited. You had uh, Conceited versus um Cortez yeah yeah you know yeah Cortez in the box that joint you had uh conceded versus Arsenal like those battles still go down in history you know what I'm saying as far as like what grind time was able to do obviously they disappeared off the scene for some years and they come back with GTX you know what I'm saying shout out to everybody over there at GTX all the folks that I know the the disasters the lush ones the moderns everybody over there and the folks that I don't know too Salute to y'all and everything that y'all do because I know that y'all going out y'all way to try to put together a dope card. I'll read some more information of it. It's uh, Daily Slaps presents GTX powered by OTR. Battle of the Bay X, Disaster versus Easy to Block Captain, hosted by Lush One and Delmar Crew. It's the 15 year anniversary of Grind Time. Doors open at 2 p.m. It is on August 12th and 13th. I kind of wanted to go to Oakland. I kind of want to see Oakland and shit like that. My daughter's birthday is the 11th, the same one that just came down here. So I don't know if I, I've never missed any of them. So I don't know if, I mean, even I wouldn't miss it 
because I have to leave the next day and then I have to come back the next day. I don't know. That might be a lot. That might be a lot. And nobody ain't send me no flight. Niggas ain't send me no flight. Niggas ain't send me no voucher. Niggas ain't send me no fucking bag voucher. These events be a lot of money. I would love to go to every single event. But the thing is, you got to get a flight, get a room, get a hotel, all for some shit that I could watch at home for $35. I don't know if I could do that or $40. It'd be, it be, to me, going to the a lot of the events and I love it and I fuck with it. I'm going to watch it. It'd be hustling backwards for me because I could literally sit at my crib, order the pay-per-view, watch it, recap everything and spend like $50. Maybe, maybe a hundred if I get some food or whatever the case may be, but shit like that. But it, don't, it won't cost me a fraction as much as it costs to go. You know, so I mean, <sighs> leagues be wanting us in certain places, leagues could make it happen. So I mean, I, I, I fuck with it. I would like to see it, but I don't know if I'm doing that. I, I'm be honest, I don't know. I, I, I just thought about it right now. Um, but let's get to the actual battle. Uh, if it's a one rounder, which most people are saying, until I hear otherwise, it's a one rounder. Uh, it's Easy's first chance to get back out there and rap in front of people. Uh, he's probably gonna obviously address the aforementioned situation where niggas is saying, yo, Pat Poos, whoop, 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 bam. You know, and there's a large contingent of people, artists and things like that, who are sticking with their story. They don't give a fuck with nobody seen, nobody heard. This is what happened. This is the di And I get it. You, you have your right to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if niggas don't like him anyway. I told Easy to Black Captain, you ain't make no friends in this process. And I'm gonna still stick with my uh my my aforementioned statement he didn't make no friends in this process this is what you wanted so he's going back outside the battle disaster disaster's like one of the heads over there at gtx why he would set himself up for one round i don't know it's probably the bread because easy and disaster are not cheap mcs so when you book both of them even if it's for one round it's going to cost money and this is a two-day card two-day card comes with a lot of mcs that got to get booked within the same time frame uh Yes, Jack jumped out there and said, y'all excited for one rounders now. Um, I'm going to be honest, as a recapper, a recapper, kappa, recapper, kappa, kappa, uh, I will say that I don't be excited about one round battles, and it got to be something like extreme for me to even recap, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I think of some run rounders that I recapped in recent memory, Tay Rock versus Ryder, I thought that was a pretty good one rounder. Um, Bad News versus Tay Rock, that was a good one rounder. Uh, Mike P versus Geechee Gotti for the obvious reasons. <coughs> somebody get bodied, this off the table. If somebody get bodied, even in a one rounder, we coming to talk about it. So don't even get it twisted. So yeah, I recap that one too. But I don't recap a whole lot of them. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I don't recap a whole lot of one round battles because it, you really can't get much out of them. You know what I mean? Um, but you know, going into it, it's definitely, it'll be a good, like a lot of people, Diz got his set of fans. Diz has his core set fan base that fucks with what he do. I respect Diz from an analytical perspective, from what he's done and from a legendary perspective too. Um, I seen his battle versus Danny, I like that. Uh, he battled Rock on the West. He battled a lot of people on the West. Diz has been out here for years and years and years. And I fuck with Diz too, you know what I'm saying? I spoke to him a couple times on the, um, Twitter and things like that. But seeing that he's been able to sort of revive and get Battle of the Bay and get grind time back on the, on his feet is definitely a dope thing. Um, like I said, this is the 15 year anniversary of Grind Time, so I'm sure that uh, it's gonna have good production. Is Rap Grid on it? Yep, Rap Grid is on it. So you know the pay per view ain't gonna be fucked up unless there's two events that same day. I don't think there is, but you know Rap Grid is on it, so you know the pay per view gonna run the way it's supposed to. And for Easy to Block Captain, he's got to go out there and set the tone again. He's got to remind people of who, uh, you know what I'm saying, how he gets busy because the thing is, what have you done for me lately? Yeah, you beat Reed Dollars, clearly, but a lot of things have happened since then. We're not going to act oblivious and act like a lot of shit ain't happened since then. You had this whole rollout with the whole, uh, you know, situation and you was at the event and this whole back room and the alleged... You're going to have to address that. You will definitely have to address that. You're going to address that soon. Um, but I will say this. Disaster is an opponent who can lyrically do a lot of shit, but he's not the dangerous puncher that Geechee Gotti is. He's not the dangerous puncher that a Rum Nitty is. He's not the dangerous puncher that a Av is, a B Mac. So you ain't gotta worry about those type of huge punchlines. But then at the same time, you are gonna be in Oakland. Diz is from Cali. So, you know, he's gonna have his support there too. But I think this is more, more so about 
uh, displaying your lyrical ability at the highest level, this is why y'all are here. You know what I'm saying? This is why Easy to Block Cabin is here. I don't know you for nothing else, but I mean, obviously, you know, everything that you've done since. But I knew you and know you from watching your battles, being a fan of your battles. Yes, you are the hottest name in battle rap. Yes, when niggas talk about you, people are going to watch. But this is what you want. I don't feel no way about making bread um, talking about you because this is the position that you want. Now, I want to correct, correct the statement the other day. I had said that, uh, yeah, Easy had said that, um, He's the reason why a lot of these bloggers are relevant and when they talk about him, it does the most numbers and the most views. And I said something about that because I'm a person that has damn near a thousand videos. I got 300,000 view videos with Verve and Moot. I got 200,000 views with Rock and Official. And I got a, a bunch of other hundred, 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 hundred thousand. So when somebody tells me, he didn't say it to me specifically, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, hey, hold on, that's my guy. He didn't say it to me specifically. But when you put the term bloggers, I'm one of them. So I said something about it. But people in the comments were saying, you know, he's not really talking to you. You're on a different stratosphere. I, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all. Whenever I'm wrong or if I ain't right about something, y'all can definitely tell me in the comments. And I'm cool with that, too. I'm not too above myself to where I'm like, nah, man. Boo, boo, boo. So they corrected it, and it's good. But I will say this. Um, Diz has an opportunity to open up the can that nobody else got the chance to. When you're the first person to address a situation... How you package it slash present it could really be the trajectory of where it goes long term. And I say that to say this. Geechee Gotti battles Tay Rock after uh, the whole uh, Briz situation and Woody Woo. You know, he comes out, you know, when your seat belts don't buckle up because you don't ride with your niggas and tears the roof off the fucking building. You know what I'm saying? Very well executed. Adi Boom versus uh, Big K. Very well executed. Uh, T, uh, Math Hoffa versus T-Top. It wasn't the first time he heard it, but it was like, uh, it was the best way that it was presented. Self-checkout. There's a lot of angles that been used. This is not, a, probably won't be a big stage of big room and it's not three rounds, so I don't know if, it's all about how this present, presents whatever he's coming with. Um, but, you know, in one round, as I really don't have winners. I mean, if it was a three rounder, I would pick easy to block captain to win, but you know, Disaster in a one round, who knows, you know what I mean? And like I said, I don't know, they haven't said it, but it's what I heard. When I, and the thing is, here's how my antennas work with battle rap. When I hear about a battle, if I don't hear nothing, I'm gonna assume it's three rounds. League owners, this is the shit y'all gotta realize. When we hear about battle announcements, we automatically assume three rounds. If it's one round, Y'all need to let us know what it is. So we not out here guessing and things like that. They had a bunch of situations where this been happening, where the swoop and swap happens. They book a bunch of cards, they don't say shit about it. Then at the last minute you find out it's one rounders. Don't package me a eighth and sell it to me as a quarter. I'm sorry, that shit don't work like that. I'm, yo, 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 got the scale. You know what I'm saying? Let me bust out the scale. What the fuck y'all niggas just doing out here? What type of work is y'all selling out here? You know what I'm saying? They got the hand the digi scale. What the fuck is this? What is this? You packaging me this shit right here? Like, we're not doing this. You gotta repackage this work. I need something different. It's just how it goes. But, um, the card overall is pretty good. Uh, I see why, uh, I, I, now I could pretty much see why, you know, I mean, obviously the Murder Mook shit, easy gonna come out and talk about that, but GTX probably wanted to get their promotion under the way. They probably like, look, nigga, when you going live? We got this fly to promote, nigga. When you going, when are you? When are you going live? The Green Ranger is going to beat these niggas ass tomorrow. We need you to go live today because Green Ranger told me he's going to wake up. He's going to whoop Snake Eyes ass. Then he's going to chase Piranha out the fucking yard. What time are you going live? He went live the next day that shit happened. You see how it happens? I told you. I told you. One day, he's like, yo, wake up. Go beat this nigga up right now. We got a trailer to promote. Hold on. Let's see if the tea is ready. Yeah, it's ready. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what happened. And my cup says Rice Gang on it too. If you want one of these joints, let me know. My man Franklin in the field hooked these joints up. But yeah, uh, overall, uh, I think it's a pretty dope announcement. It's not a surprise, I heard about it, you know what I'm saying? Um, a couple, about a week or so ago. But I heard it was working out the schematics and making sure that the shit could go down and things like that. And it is what it is. But you know, I want to talk about battles. I want to talk about battle rap. I know the drama is a constant thing. Like every day is drama, 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 drama. But I am one that still likes to talk about battles because what's funny is when all of this shit happened at Bags and Bodies, 
I seen everybody jumping on the negativity, but, do, 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 do. but I recapped the event. I recapped the battles. I talked about funeral fame. I talked about Piranha. I talked about the people that was there before the shit happened. So if I talk about it, I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Because I recapped the battle when nobody else did, especially nobody on this level did. I did. So when I talk about it, I can talk about the good, I can talk about the bad, I can talk about the indifferent because I was covering this shit when nobody else was because that's what I do. Me and SP, we are the recap ones. We are the recap gods. We This is what we do. We recap everything that's worth talking about. Um, as far as uh, Disaster, I appreciate what he's doing. I like the fact that ba the Battle of the Bay is going to be pretty much a dope event. I've seen uh, T-Rex versus Big K, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of other battles that people want to see. I think it's Pass versus Reed Dollars. That's a good battle too. Uh... I got re I got I got pass winning that. You ain't beating you're not beating you are not beating pass in Oakland. I'm sorry, yeah, I don't see that shit happening. Beating pass in Oakland is a very, very, very tough sled. Battle of the Bay been doing it for a while though, since back when Big K versus Ill Mac was out there. Y'all remember when uh when in Oakland with Big K and Ill Mac? That was a fucking legendary classic battle too. I be remembering these shits. Shout out to Big K, that's my dog now, you know what I'm saying? We had issues in the past, I mentioned it, you know what I'm saying? But shit is cool now. And uh, I, I like to see the, the trajectory that he's going on. I heard he has this battle. I heard he has another battle coming up too. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say, but if the battle that he has coming up after this is what it is, that shit is gonna be crazy. And I'll probably be there more than likely, you know what I'm saying? Uh, where, they, where they doing this one, I'll probably be there, I ain't gonna lie. I like to get to a couple joints a year, but uh, can't get to every one, you know what I mean? Like, it, it just, like I said, it'd be the, 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 the bread, you gotta spend so much money to get there. And then all you get, you know what I'm saying? Obviously you see the battles, but you're gonna forget them all. If I go to a two day event, I'm gonna come home and be able to tell y'all nothing. I'm gonna forget every battle. Who said what? Who did what? I'm gonna forget all of that shit. I gotta fly all across the country, be there for two days and fly back. You niggas might as well not get no recap from me. I'm not gonna be able to say anything. I'm gonna forget everything. So I think for the uh, preservation and reservation of material purposes, it might be best to uh, just talk about the shit from the, from the crib. But uh, you know, we'll see how it goes, man. But other than that, man, salute to all of the subscribers. That notification gang, the people that watch this content, the people that Send me all the updates and let me know. See, it was a fan that sent me that whole uh, Tony Bro like Snake Eyes is not his manager no more and shit like that, and that you know that the little swamp clip about him getting beat up and shit. And like I said, I am not really surprised it happens when you talk heavy. Like you know, you invite enough people to the party, somebody gonna show up. But I mean, he blocked me. I don't know why you blocked me for. I ain't even follow this. <laughs> It's because I joked about it, man. But you eat joking on me, too. So what's the deal, man? We still cool, man. I hope we can see. I, I'm going to get on up out of here, man. Y'all need to stay up, man. God bless, man. Y'all take care. <laughs> get that man some help. Pick him up. Life alert. Y'all go get this nigga some life alert or something, man. Get that nigga some security or something, man. It was first. It was bad. It was the belt. It was bad. <laughs> this too. <laughs> and that was just out of a sense of humor because he's moving around from crew to crew. But now look, you got your manager jump, you got jump, your belt took, everything you was representing is 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 at stake right now. You know what I'm saying I could be a corny nigga to be like, yeah, welcome to TGF Fridays Outback. This nigga done got. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna do that. Man.